ਦੋਸਤੋ ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਟਾਊਨ ਹੈ ਕਲੈਸ਼ ਹੋਮ ਕੈਲਗਰੀ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਉਥੇ ਰੂਰਲ ਐਂਡ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਖੁੱਲਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਪੂਰੇ ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਪੂਰੇ ਟਾਊਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੀ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ 3800 ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੱਕ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਪੂਲ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ 4600 ਐਪਲੀਕੈਂਟਸ ਨੇ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਪੌਟ ਸਿਰਫ 20 ਸਪੌਟਸ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੀ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਕਲੇਰ ਸ਼ੋਮ ਫੋਟੋ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਖਬਰ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਟੋਨ ਫੈਬਰਿਕ 24 ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਡਾਊਨ ਸਟਰਗਲਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਫਿਲ ਇਨਟੂ ਲੈਵਲ ਜੌਬਸ ਐਵਲੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਬੀਂਗ ਸਿਲੈਕਟ ਫਾਰ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਸੋ 4600 ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਅਪਲਾਈਡ ਫਾਰ ਦ ਟਾਊਨ ਆਫ 3800 ਓਨਲੀ ਵਾਓ ਓਕੇ uh traditional says uh, there are other criteria to meet language test education settlement funds work experience uh, and other things and uh the panel is looking for about 20 people and the families in the first year of the three year pilot program all right so not many people will get it but a lot of people are applying clash home uh, you can check out on the website this is traditional this economic development officer the plan is to hire more than 20 in each two final years of program called the rural and northern immigration pilot Clare Shome, which is a highway 2, roughly halfway between Calgary and Lethbridge, is one of the 11 communities chosen out of 55 replies, only one in Alberta. Wow, okay. So, factory that now is written, actually, phone number is now hiring production workers, and nobody is applying. There were no workers. That's why people had to, you know, be attracted for this rural uh, pilot program. and the food production plant el molino is clamping at a bay this help us a great and of course they want to get more people uh wow okay that's that's a good el, el molino and uh, this is a photo in in clash home people are enjoying a little lunch or treat outside in summer i think is in 2018 and uh let's take a look uh There is a little uh, I think radio show about Clare's home this. You ever spent any time down in Clare's home Alberta? It's been a while but I have been there. It's a little now or so, a little bit further. Mm-hmm. For people who haven't been there, there's a there's a lovely museum, the Clare's Home and District Museum. There's a water tower? Yes, there is. Uh there's historic murals around the town. It's a lovely place. It has a lot to offer. As of late, people from around the world suddenly want to move to Clare's Home. Have you heard about this? I have actually. Uh, it's quite a story. Interest in the Alberta town exploded last summer. after it was selected for a federal pilot program that brings immigrants to rural areas across Canada. To date, nearly 4,000 people have filled out online profiles expressing their interest in new life in Clare's home. Brady Schnell is the Economic Development Officer for the town of Clare's home and joins us now. Morning, Brady. Good morning, David. And Thanks thank, for having me. And so good of you to join us. What do you make of all this interest in your town? Well, just for starters, I I want to update you on those numbers. Over the weekend we broke we broke 4,600 unique profiles created for wow. for folks around the folks that are interested in jobs in Clairsome, so it's really exciting. That's that's fantastic. Where are they applying from? Um, well, when I tracked about, you know, the first 800 over the summer and I found they were from up to 70 different countries. Um there's quite a spread uh, a large number from places like Nigeria, Mexico, Colombia, um but quickly it's dispersed evenly throughout the world. Uh, uh, that's fantastic. That's a real boom for the town of Clare. So how how would it work though? There's a difference between filling out an application and actually showing up in town and getting a gig. That's a that's a good point. It's not a, it's not a very easy process for anybody by any means. Uh, there's a series of federal criteria that must be met. um english tests uh education settlement funds in the bank as well as work experience if candidates meet those federal criteria they can create a unique profile on our new website at clairshome.ca they can upload their resume and profile and then they can start applying for jobs in clairshome that have been approved for the program now if a candidate gets a job offer then they can apply for a community recommendation and that's kind of the golden ticket uh candidates who receive that job offer and get the community recommendation can then apply for permanent residence through the rural northern immigration pilot and that permanent residence application uh can be answered within 12 months which is a real fast track for people mm-hmm. looking for permanent residence 
Now, this pilot program was designed, as I understand it, to encourage new Canadians to move to rural areas uh, facing a declining population and labour shortages. Uh, do those last two describe where Claire's home is at currently? Uh, the latter does. Um, I, Claire's home is not experiencing a population decline, mm-hmm. but we have had a, a long history of challenges with labour. Uh, in 2018, when I started my job as the economic development officer with the town, I pounded the pavement. I met with over 40 different businesses across different industries, and the number one complaint is that we don't have enough good staff. Mm. We don't have people who can work full time. Uh, some good examples of that, you know, for example, Tim Hortons in Claire's home really struggles to stay open 24 hours on the weekends because they don't have enough staff. Uh, we have El Molino Food Factory that does taco chips and bone broths and soups and, and sauces, and they're turning down national contracts with major uh, grocery chains because they don't have the staff. Mm. They've got the equipment, the size, the space, but they don't have the labor. Whenever we hear about programs like this, one of the backlash you often hear is that, wait a minute, if you do this, you're going to be taking good-paying jobs away from local residents. But what you're telling me is that's not the case, that, 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 that clearly there's a demand for these workers to, to come to Clarezone. Is that right? There is, you know, and, and at first it was on paper with my surveys and word of mouth, um, but I'm excited to see that the writing's on the wall. I know of at least four new Canadians who are not permanent residents who have moved to Claire's home in the last 30 days, and they all had jobs within two days of arriving. Really? These jobs, yeah. And these aren't, this is not through the program. Mm -hmm. These are just individuals who've arrived on their open work permits or temporary work visas, often recent graduates from Canadian universities. And they're looking for that pathway to become permanent Canadians, and they're relocating to Claire's home and having no issue finding full-time and part-time work. So are you hoping to attract individuals or families here? I think it's going to be a little bit of both. Um, The Economic Development Committee, who will act as that selection group, we've developed a a set of community criteria that helps us to um, process the many applications we expect to receive. And and it includes things like age limit, family status, um, spouse's ability to work, spouse's ability to speak English. So, so we, are, we have set some parameters that we think increases the success for newcomers and increases the likelihood for them to stay in Claire's home. I guess that's the other big risk is five years from now, will these individuals still be residing and making Claire's home their home or mm-hmm. will they have moved to Calgary or other larger centers. And and that's kind of the big challenge for us as a selection committee. Of course, a lot of that will depend on how you receive them, right? And and, and what supports are there for them when they arrive. I'm fascinated by the numbers here because your population is, you're under 4,000 now. Is that fair to say? You're close somewhere around that number? That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 3,800 and yeah. And and now you've got another 4,600 people who are interested. Can you imagine what would happen if you let in thousands? I mean, mean, what if we pulled the stops out on this? How how big can you go in Claire's home? Well, there's there's not a number. There's not a goal that we're trying to reach. Um, We're not trying to explode the population in Claire's home. In fact, we've set the limit for the first year at 20 recommendations plus, plus their families. So despite the huge demand, in the first year of this program, we will only recommend 20 people plus their families for permanent residency in Claire's home. Hmm. It is a three-year program. Uh, In year two, we're going to increase that number, and in year three, we're going to hopefully see that number go up again. Uh, If you compare it to, say, the city of Brandon in Manitoba, they've set their limit in year one to just 100 recommendations. For a community that's, I think, pushing 150,000 people, uh, Claire's is actually accepting more applicants this year per capita hmm. than some of the other communities. Yeah, so we, we want to tread lightly. I guess the, the short version is we don't have the housing for thousands of people. We don't actually have the jobs for thousands of people, but we certainly do have the jobs for maybe, you know, 100 or 200 new families. I, I, I think that's, that's fair to say. So, so if I popped in your local coffee shop this morning, where I hope there'd be a good breakfast special. I imagine there is. Well, for sure. Yeah. Uh, if I if I wanted, are people talking about this in town? Is this is this a, is this a big topic conversation right now? I'd say it is. It is a, a topic. It's it's not a huge topic. Uh, we've had two 
community events. Back in November, we had our first council open house on the, on the subject, and then on January 23rd, we had another. Um, the first event drew 130 people, which for Clairstone is a good turnout. Mm-hmm. Um, but interesting enough, over half of those people were actually out of towners wanting to come to the program. Um, more recently, we had another 80 turnout uh, to our open house, and and to be honest, the, the conversation was shifted more towards by some outsiders from outside the community wanted to talk about Wexit and separation of Alberta, which was really off topic. Yeah, um, but that happens in meetings. Really off, and I was pleased to see the community <laughs> responded and said, listen, guys, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh. So I think Alberta's got a really heated political landscape right now. There's a lot of conversations going on, and, and this, this is certainly adding to that. Um, but I think the one thing that I'm finding is the more people understand the program, the the filters that are in place, the systems that are in place, they start to really warm up to the idea that this could be really good for Claire's home. Well, if you if you bring in qualified labor and you and you increase the population, that would be a success for the pilot program. I imagine that's what, what the goal was in the first place. And it, if if you pull it off in Claire's home, what next? Are you are, are, are you getting any jealous sounds yeah. from Parkland or Staveley or Woodhouse or Granham? Well, certainly there's been interest. I, I'm with. I'm a part of some economic networks in southern Alberta, and I know the town of Tabor had applied to this program. Actually, 55 different communities in Canada applied for this program that only 11 were selected. Um, So certainly I've been sharing information with my colleagues saying and letting them know that it actually the United Conservative Party of Alberta is preparing a new rural immigration strategy. Uh, I was part of some focus groups last fall, and rumors are that there'll be a four- pronged approach to a new Alberta Advantage immigration strategy. I'm going to be first in line, and I'm hoping that the work we've done for the RNIP will help prepare us to take advantage of new immigration programs. Uh, Brady, I'm impressed. You've done your legwork down there. Thank you for joining us to talk about it today. I really appreciate you taking the time. I, I'd be remiss. I, the, the mayor wanted me to give a quote. He's, he's very excited with how this program's laid out and the training and, and the preparation that's gone into it. He, he would have loved to have been here this morning, but he couldn't. Um, and just wanted to add that, he, that he's really excited about the opportunity that's, that's coming. We're going to look at our first applications here March 18th um, for the first time. And uh, I hope that you guys maybe follow up with us in the future. Well, you, know it's going. You, got your, you got your plug-in from the mayor, so how can we not? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Brady. I take, really appreciate take it. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. That's, Bye-bye. That's Brady Schnell. He's the Economic Development Officer for the Town of Clare's Home. So this was the manager in the uh, city of Clare's Home, you know, extolling the virtues of RNIP and how many people are applying, and they are looking to, uh, you know, select some people. I think they have a quota of only 20 for now. But hey, this is a three-year pilot program, and who knows uh, how it will go, grow. And but it's definitely the first one in Alberta to be successful in Clareshome. So I'm going to just uh, show you the website where somebody can apply, and you know take your chances from there. All right, just uh, wait a second. So this is the city of uh, Clareshome. You can go to clareshome.ca and uh, and take a look uh, and see what else do we have here on their website official website so they have listed on their website rnip uh, 2020 blah 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 so february 14th and will be posted employment opportunities will be posted on february 21 this we already crossed february 21 so I don't know where they are. The towns of Clareshom located in southern Alberta, purpose of the state of Grand parts of MDO Willow Creek, Clareshom 11 communities. And uh, there are some jobs available. I don't know what jobs are available. So this is a thing about step-by-step guide to PR. Clareshom portals are open. And uh, absolutely, you can apply from here, like info for foreign skilled workers. So let's see. Yeah, what is the information? Information for foreign skilled workers. Uh, job openings will be posted uh, criteria and IRCC criteria, all kind of information. How can you participate? And, uh, you know, that's it. You can apply apply for me. You've got the information about the town. But let's take a look at the jobs. If I can see some jobs here, where are those jobs? 
let me click on creation RNIP portal. Let's see what I can I see here. Can I see some jobs here? Um, oh yeah, there are some jobs here. Welcome. As a first-time user of electronic, you have to create a profile. Yes, of course, current jobs. Let's see. There are some jobs posted here. Company truck driver, food counter attendant, Dairy Queen, food counter attendant, Tim Hortons, Dairy Queen again, general farm worker, pasture. Yeah. I don't know who can apply. Company driver. Yeah, just uh, very limited here. Food counter. Maybe a lot of people who are already in um, postgraduate work permit students who are in Alberta, for example, they can easily apply and and get it so you know this is just a minute so this is the job that i clicked on dairy queen for fca food food counter attendant dairy queen dairy queen dairy queen yeah clear show uh nocd and that's fine permanent job of 15 dollars an hour you know just a standard uh tim hortons so that's that's one of the jobs here uh, other jobs are also tim hortons dairy queen now the second third one also let's see what is in the farm worker what kind of farm worker is being hired for? Uh, let's take a look. Lazy tea farm, farming of cereal grains, food truck delivery, and NOCC, truck drivers, agriculture dependent qualifications, uh, hook unlock trailers, truck driving, general duties. And that is it. Uh, it's just a farm job. Okay, so if you are into farming, it's you know, something that you can do. It does not tell you how much salary, but I guess you have to apply and then they will decide, all right? So anyway, so this is on clairesholm.ca, C-L-A-R-E-S-H-O-L-M.ca. And then you can uh, read uh, and then put in your profile there. Let's see what happens, all right? Hey, thank you very much for your uh, time. Um, and this is all I had to give you an update about the Alberta town who is participating in RNIP rule. Uh, and um, pilot program. What is called RN? I don't know what the hell is RN, NIP rural and national something. I don't know what the uh, RNIP stand for. Here it is: rural and northern immigration. Oh, living in the north. If you may, if you want to come, to living in the north. All right. So that's that's where it is. These are all the places in Canada. Those are participating in this RNIP program. As you can see, some of them have listed their website, others do not. Claire Shome, this is Claire Shome, the one which I just uh, was, uh, you know, looking at, and ClaireShome.ca, this is the website, all right. So thank you very much. Hey, uh, your comments are always appreciated. Uh, thank you. Take care.